this uh, video will take you through and show you uh, how to work with Terapeak a little bit. So uh, we have over here on the side the, uh, these different icons. If you hover over it, it'll it'll pop out and tell you what they are. So dashboard, which is what we're looking at here. Um, product search that you can do, worksheets, in-depth research, and eBay uh, product research. So these are all uh, different uh, jump links to, to get to these areas. So we have a uh, find product to sell option where you can come in and actually put uh, something in here, put in keywords like uh, um, if you're looking for dog kennels and wondering about selling dog kennels, we could put that in there. And then they pull this up here and and uh, say, okay, uh, we've got uh, you know this one here, this one here, this one here with analyzing. <clears throat> so we can analyze the price and demand. Uh, we can do in-depth research on this particular item. So if you click on this, it's going to come up and and uh, give us a specific keyword, um, <clears throat> and you can determine whether or not you want to change any of that and uh, make adjustments. Um, as it says right here. So you can make uh, adjustments if you want, but as it says right here, uh, refine the uh, search criteria above until the listings shown um, accurately represent the product you are interested in. So what we might uh, do here is just eliminate some of this. Uh, uh, pet cage, folding dog, cat crate, cage kennel. We don't need that. Simplify it a little bit. Uh, these are all good. We want all of those areas. Uh, um, refine listing criteria. There we've got a little bit bigger range of products. So now we can click looks good, analyze the price and demand. So now it's going to tell us, well, this is the uh, the price range. This is the average uh, price, um, and then uh, uh, number of items sold, uh, uh, items, uh, you know, total revenue, um, number of sellers selling it, and uh, it does give you some pretty good insights. We can see on the top there that the price range that that things sell is around that thirty dollar price range uh, average. Uh, between $9.95 to $57 in this uh, group of products. Uh, and so that gives us a, a little bit of uh, an insight there. That's, you know, the most products that are selling are in that lower price range. So if we want to be more likely to sell, we need to find uh, the ability to list within that price range probably. Okay. So we can do that kind of research uh, on there, or we can go back. And we have, uh, you could source inventory from Alibaba. I do not recommend Alibaba. AliExpress is owned by Alibaba, and it's a little more secure. Uh, if you're looking for products you want to source from China directly, uh, that's that would be uh, buying product and, uh, um, and stocking it. So that's uh, a little different. So again, uh, if we wanted to go in and look at, uh, how about we do a search for just the word mask, we can pull up some details of what they uh, offer here. And uh, they've got all these different things that are presented uh, that are available through uh, Alibaba um, and probably AliExpress as well. So uh, if you were wanting to buy products, uh, uh, you could definitely uh, do something like that. And, uh, you know, and then you could research each one of these. Uh, uh, Take this mask right here for sec um, for example, analyze price and demand. Um, Halloween mask. Uh, let's change that to uh, skull half mask. See if we can get that specific one that they were showing right there, and they're not going to find anything. All right, we'll try skull mask. All right. Well, we're not going to put any time into that, but you, you could look for something there if you wanted and look through uh, Alibaba directly. Um, but that's something you have to buy ahead of time and have it shipped to you from China. Um, forecast your own sales. Uh, once you've got a lot more happening, then you could look at that. In-depth research is a good one for you to look at. With in-depth research, we can come in here and say, well, what's, uh, what's hot? 
product search, analyze product performance on eBay, category uh, research, uh, competitor research, uh, your saved searches, uh, SEO gives you the info on better titles and stuff like that, and then uh, um, your most used researches uh, to do search. So hot search, uh, or, you know, hot research, we can go out and look at what are the hottest products and uh, look at those. So. And then you can individually uh, research those as well. So one of the hottest products uh, up here with success uh, as far as whether or not it's selling, a uh, high success rate is bubble wrap, bubble cushioning wrap. Uh, and uh, so that's something that you could use there. I did a search over on eBay, and uh, we've got 3,000 of those selling. And here's how, it how you can kind of compare this on eBay. 3,000 active items, if we scroll down to the left and go over to, over to complete uh, or sold listings, rather, we've got 3,000 sold listings. So that's you know similar to the data we were looking at over there on Terapeak, telling you that uh, just about 100% of the items that uh, are listed are selling. Okay, a high percentage of those uh, uh, types of items that list are selling. Now look at the lower prices on those too, though, and we could go in and do some in-depth research or price uh, analysis on these individual uh, items. You can see the average uh, ending price on these uh, and the fluctuation of the total num uh, numbers of listings that is outlined there. And this gives you, you know, a certain date range, so it's, it's just a, uh, a short date range there. Uh, 30 days that it's looking at, you can compare uh, these here with any of these statistics. So that gives you a little more advanced. Now this opened in a new tab, we're going to go back here. And so again, we can look at these and say, okay, are any of these of interest to me? Uh, super hot items well that might be you know it's super hot right now because it's spring everybody's thinking of of planting so perennial plants are selling right now um, craft wholesale lots uh, are selling uh, flea and tick remedies uh, i love that that's that's one uh, just a quick little uh, side note uh, i was uh, looking at the clearance items at walmart as i typically do whenever i go in there and and at one point, they had a whole bunch of this uh, um, flea and tick remedy stuff um, on a steep discount, like like a quarter a box, dime a box on some of them. So I bought them all and uh, brought them home and listed them on eBay and uh, sold them for 7 to $10 a piece. So that's something I like to look for is uh, things that are on sale at uh, local stores. Uh, you can make a killing sometimes on that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can go through this and see all of these things uh, that are, are really hot items. And then what you might want to do is look for the higher priced stuff. So tag guns uh, is probably a higher price than flea and tick uh, stuff, for example. Um, or maybe not. I'm surprised to see that's under $10. Maybe I don't know what a tag gun is. <laughs> so we'd have to, to look at that in a little more detail on eBay to see. Okay, let's just do that real quick. Uh, tag gun. Okay, so I, I was thinking more of a, a labeler, but this is uh, just a simple tag gun. Might be something you could pick up at uh, AliExpress or find at a wholesaler, I don't know. Never something that I've researched. Um, cell, phone and smart, or cell phone and smartphone parts. Really low priced items, not going to be easy. Food is uh, uh, in fish aquariums. You know, it's A lot of these are lower priced items. So while they're hot items and they're moving, uh, you've got to really search through them to find those things that are higher priced uh, and, uh, and working and then find a, a, a resource and supplier for them. Okay, But that will give you a list of hot items to look at. How valuable it is compared to the time you're spending, uh, that's something that you've got to judge. Honestly, I think one of the best things you can do initially is get 100, 200 listings up on eBay. Get the volume of listings up there. You're going to find what, uh, what works and which items are moving uh, effectively by putting them up there and, and getting a, a range of products listed up there. This list will go on forever with different products that are, are hot and selling and 
uh, you, you know, you could research yourself to death and not really, you know, not progress too much. Now, if you want to do a, a week's worth of, of research first and, and make notes and, and create a list of products that you'd like to shoot for, uh, as long as you recognize that that research time is going to help you in the long run, perhaps, but it's not going to make you money, you know, quickly because you've got to do that time, then that's okay. I've done a lot of that with research on my businesses uh, where I spend hours and hours and hours researching what I'm going to do before I implement it and put it into play. And it has been beneficial to do that. You've just got to recognize that that research time isn't money-making time. Uh, directly you know it's going to take uh, time later to apply those things so i hope that gives you a, a some good overview of how you can use uh, the therapy and and uh, those research tools that are there